Hey everyone and welcome to AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video I'm going to give you another Mac tip and trick and continue my series in this video. This is going to consist of desktop customization. But before we begin this video, I'm just going to tell you one little piece of news that I have. I've gotten a lot of requests on my website to do an iPhone tips and tricks series and I think I'm going to get started on that pretty quick. But stick around as we'll get right into this video on desktop customization. Alright, so let's dive into this desktop customization Mac tip and trick video. Before we begin, we won't need any extra software because we already have a plethora of features already enabled on the Mac. If you want to, you can go search on Google for other desktop customization ways, but in this video I'm just going to use the pre-built-in Mac customization features. So first off, let's say I have a ton of files on my desktop, either text files, movie files, audio files, or other types of files on my desktop. I just have these random text edit files. But let's say we want to customize this and make it snap to a grid so we can organize it more easily. So let's right click on our desktop and go to sort by snap to grid. Then these files when we reposition them they will snap to a grid which I find it's a lot nicer because you can organize it better. It keeps them a certain distance from each other so it stays nicely organized. I just find it a lot nicer as it just snaps to a grid. It helps out with uh, customizing and keeping everything organized on your computer. So let's say we have all these and we want to batch select them by highlighting all of them and we can move them around wherever you may want them. So let's keep them there and let's right click on our desktop again, show view options and let's say we want to increase the icon size to a little larger icon size. So let's just bring it up to about 92 by 92. You can even go up to 128 by 128. It's totally up to you, but just increasing them or decreasing the size can come in handy when organizing your desktop. So let's just put them back to 76 by 76. You can also choose the grid spacing if you want to space them out a little bit more so you can keep the labels right down here separated so it's easier to see. It's totally up to you, but I'm just going to keep them about, let's just say, something to about like that. So we have them pretty close together so we can organize them nicely. And there we go. We can also change the text size from 12 to 16 so you can see the labels increase in size. But I'm just going to put them back to 12. You can choose the label position either to the right or to the bottom which is a nice feature as well depending on your needs. You can show the item info if you want, which comes in handy if you want to show like the size of a movie file. It depends on you, on your preference. I'm just going to leave them as it is. You can also show the icon preview or you can just leave it to the default icon that comes with the application saving options. Sort by, I have it snap to grid. You can choose whatever you want. You can also say, like, organize them by name. That can come in handy if you want to organize them all. So this is AK Pro, AK Pro Films uh, 1, 2, 3, and it organizes them nice and easily for you. Or, organize them by the kind, the date modified created, or last opened, or added, and by the size or the tags. So you can do a lot of customizing on your desktop, so it really makes it nice and easy, and it totally depends on your preference to customize it to your needs. So besides the desktop icons and the labels and the files and everything over there, we can easily customize the background as many of you know, but I'm just going to go into other features that you might not know. So here are all the Apple presets like the Wave or the Abstract. It depends on what background you like. But you can easily put it into a slideshow so the pictures change and cycle through it after every time duration that you change down here. So let's do change picture every 5 seconds. So if we wait 5 seconds, the picture will fade in to the next picture. So that's a pretty nice feature as well if you like to change up your background every so often, but it can get a little annoying 
depending on what you like and what you don't like. So I'm just going to say change picture, I'm going to turn that off. You can also have a translucent menu bar, so having a translucent menu bar would reflect the background and having it non-translucent would just be the gray color. So customizing your desktop is totally up to you depending on your needs. So it's just another way of changing up your Mac and changing up some of the preferences in settings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please sure to give it a thumbs up as it really makes my videos stand out on YouTube so other people can learn about these Mac tips and tricks. So as well if you haven't subscribed make sure to do because I would gladly appreciate that as that would support our channel a lot. So also thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. As well check out my Twitter, Facebook, and website akprofilms.weebly.com.